Hi, it's Auntie Oni, and I'm going to read an Aesop fable for you called The Lion and the Mouse. Where tall trees grow in a forest so deep. I, the grand lion, lay asleep. My head on my paws, I snored with my... <laughs> and dreamed I was chasing stars through the night. Ah! When all of a sudden a mouse tiptoed near, her steps light and small, but a bit hard to hear. She stumbled upon me, and when I arose, she was scurrying and hurrying and scurrying all over my nose. I then let out a roar so loud. Rawr! My anger like a thundercloud. How dare you, I said. Have you no fear or awe? So I said and I raised my mighty paw. <laughs> Does this sound scary? The mouse wasn't scared at all scared at all? Let's read on to see why. The mouse said, please spare me your highness. Promise one day I'll return the kindness. I just had to laugh at the squeaky plea. Ha ha ha, what can a creature like you do for me? She raised her nose and without fear whispered, you never know, in the lion's ear. Oh, really? We'll see, I said with one last giggle. <laughs> I let her go and she leaped away with a wiggle. I soon forgot all about that day till disaster came my way. Mean, mean hunters had set a trap and I stepped right into their net. I roared and I tugged my mane in a mess when who should come see me in my distress? Help! You guessed. It was the mouse, and I said, hi, and started to chew. Don't worry, I'm here for you. And so I was freed, and I found a new friend, and I learned my lesson in the end. I did a good deed and planted a seed, which grew to be just the friendship I need. And so my friend, the mouse helped me realize, friends can come in every color, shape, or size. Isn't that a nice story? I hope you have friends in every color, shape, or size, just like I do. Auntie Oni loves you too. <laughs>